welcome to Free Up, a show hosted by Black women that focuses on topics like sexuality, relationships, and other social issues. Today on Free Up, we're talking sex toys. So parents, if you have children with you right now, it's time to put them to bed, because this type of conversation is too big for their ears. Ladies, I'd like to introduce them all around. This is my girl, Anika. Why you smile so? My girl. <laughs> Wait for me to introduce me. My girl Lisa and Pomela to my right hand side. And Pomela is actually going to be a special guest today for this show because she has never used a sex toy. Ooh. So I'm going to have a lot of fun. I think we're all going to have a little fun kind of teaching yes. her today. Are you ready, girl? She's she looks so nervous. <laughs> she looks so nervous. Look at her. She's like, oh my God. So she says she's not going to touch one, but I think we're going to see if we can get her to today. Of course. So yes. let's just, before we start actually dipping into the sex toys, because we have a few that we're going to bring out, starting from intermediate. <laughs> <laughs> she's worried. <laughs> intermediate, okay. All the way to experience, okay? So on our intermediate level would still be my lovely lady over here, <laughs> who looks so nervous. I would be a little bit more experienced. I think you're like in the middle, right? Probably closer to... And Lisa, where are you with, with sex toys? Tell me about your experience with sex toys. Well, it's funny that you ask me, because I think I'm almost in the same shoe with Camilla. Really? <laughs> I've never seen one before. Okay, so I'm in a better position. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. What, do you, what about you? Have you used sex toys? Um, a long time ago, and like probably just like the really small one, so it's quite new to me as well. Oh, yay. So I get to actually teach my girls about all of this. Okay, so let's just start about, you know what? It's interesting that you guys haven't utilized them. Is there a reason for you why you've never used it as much? And we're going to get to why you haven't used it at all. Oh, <laughs> um, you know, I just think it's lack of interest, per se. Um, not like I'm against it, and I'm definitely open to it. And if it's something that I feel like I need to start incorporating or using, I'm open to that too. But I just haven't had the time to really think about it. It just never, hasn't really been on my radar, I guess. Okay. Girl, for you? Um, for me, it's not a big topic as to why I don't use it, let's use it. It's not even there. However, I do know a lot of people, I have a lot of friends that use it, and... People who use toys are always ready to give knowledge. So yes. I'm always ready for the education. So they always look so happy. <laughs> Listen, well, look, how happy look at how happy I was when I knew we were going to discuss this. Queen, what's going on? Have you, okay, you've heard of sex toys. Well, yeah, I've heard of them, yes. But you've never, ever used one. Never. Why not? What has been the reason not to use them? I think... One, the upbringing, and two, my convictions, religious faith. What does religion say about masturbation? Wrong. Really? Really? Yes. Okay, so do you know, it you know what? falls under fornication. Does okay. it? So yes. masturbation falls under fornication. Yeah. So do you think this might be a cultural thing that we haven't even really looked into as to why we don't use? Well, black women don't use sex toys too much. It could be because, I mean, you all have, you can come from diverse backgrounds, you know, like um, some religious, some, like you said, you know, um, you know, where you're from. I mean, you have people from Africa, you have people from the Caribbean islands. People who are more westernized yep. will be more likely to go for that. Yes, I mean, I might have a different background, but I was brought up here, but still it was never been an interest to me to say to me go in. But I have friends who have, but... <laughs> No, 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 no you wouldn't. You wouldn't touch it. Okay, okay. Why so would I play with plastic when I can be with real food? Because yeah. listen, okay, oh, all wow. right, okay. Yeah. So here's my thing with that. All right. Um, the real thing is fine, but with sex toys, it's about learning you yes. and what you like. It's not necessarily about it, the real thing, right? Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately, with our men, and I'm sure you can agree. Not all of them know what to do down there. Yes, sister. <laughs> you, she's quiet, but she, she knows I'm right. Not everyone knows what to do yeah. down there. 
but we're unable to teach them. And sometimes as women, we're unsatisfied because they don't know what to do. We don't know ourselves. And we put up with sometimes, well, for you, because of your convictions and because of the, the way you practice your life, not so much, but for us fornicators. <laughs> okay, let's be real. I'm a fornicator. I know you two are too. So don't sit down and leave me here by myself. For the, for <laughs> for the fornicators in the room, sometimes we realize men do not know what they're doing. But I ask you, how well do you know your body? That's a good question. That's Honestly. A really good question. And I, I do agree, and I think that that's why it's important that we're having this conversation because talking about sex is important and talking about our body and, and sexual pleasure as women, I think it's important that we kind of take some of the stigma away from that yeah. and, um, and start to have these conversations because it's important, you know? Sex relieves stress. And Definitely. I mean, who here is not stressed? Right? Right. Mm -hmm. and, you don't, and what if you're single? What if you don't? What if you're not in a relationship, right? Um, and you know, you have your needs. It's like, why deprive yourself if there are alternatives? For sure. So I'm, I'm very open to seeing what's new because back in my day when I used a sex toy, it was, it was like probably, I, I feel like if you're starting an intermediate, it was probably before <laughs> that. What did you, what did you use? Um, I don't know. It was just like a really small. Oh, the bullet. Oh, yeah. Probably. She was. The name. That sounds It's right. called the bullet. So What's the bu that? the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you don't know, you ask, and this is why we're here. So the bullet is really, really small, very powerful, and it vibrates. First, do you know you have three holes? Where? Where's the third one? <laughs> <laughs> so you have obviously your pee hole, right. you have your vagina, and then you have your butt. I thought it's the same thing. No, oh. no. We're going to get the butt plugs. I'm going to explain that when we get no there. Oh. You will get <laughs> oh, gosh. This is it's why gonna this, be a long show. this is going to be. No, it's good, though, because I like these questions because you know what? Again, even with your convictions, it'll give you an understanding and perspective on you as a woman. Because honestly, do you know exactly what pleases you? I mean, to the T. Do you know exactly what needs? What, when's the last time you had an actual genuine orgasm? Genuine. <laughs> I mean, orgasm, squirting, like you're. Wow. Not everyone's a squirter. Everybody's a squirter. Every woman is a squirter. Not everyone's a squirter. Every woman is a squirter. I said that until I squirted. Okay. Every woman is a squirter. So did you, were you squirting <laughs> from a man or from a toy? Both. Okay. And did you did, tell did him you what have to, to do? He, I, I told him what to do because I knew okay. what I wanted. Okay. Right. Right? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a very good point. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. So squirting is when a woman orgasms, and just like a man, she legit, what you hear the word, she squirts. Yeah. So juices right. come. Do yes. yes. You uh, you have <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to get you a toy. So yeah, you, you, you need to leave home yeah. with, with some stuff. Like she needs all purse. the toys. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get into all of them, but no, squirting is when, um, and this is again when you've learned how to a please yourself and you know what you like. A man, you can direct a man to ha have him hit a certain spot mm -hmm. that makes you squirt. And it's probably the ultimate orgasm you will ever have. Really? I say a woman hasn't truly orgasmed until she squirted. That's just my thing. So I, I'm a virgin then. Yes, girl. Are there degrees of orgasm? Yes. Okay. Squirting is the top. Okay. Yeah. And squirting comes from different things. It can be, and again, we're going to get into this with sex toys. It could be clitoral stimulation. Some women orgasm from being touched externally. Some women orgasm from being penetrated internally. And the good thing with sex toys is if the person knows you and if you know yourself yeah. very well, put both of those together, you get a squirt. But do you have to squirt all the time? Every orgasm no, you, you have to squirt? You don't have to, but once you've squirted once, like you want that feeling. Once a month? A month? <laughs> what the she hell? You haven't squirted at all. I know, but we're gonna get it there. <laughs> No, that should be happening all the time. And this is the importance yeah, for us as black women so is we need to know our bodies enough to know what pleases us. It has nothing to do with the men. Nothing. They are legit there for their body part. And that's it. Everything else is us. We have to know how to make ourselves feel good. If not, then legit, we're just here to have sex, to have babies. And that's not life. Well, some women have sex and they, they've never had an orgasm before. And that's I, very true. And it's, but to me, that's sad. Because I, I it's, really sad. it's a beautiful part of life. It's yeah. to, it's, there's that, I'm telling you, it's a natural endorphin. It's a natural dopamine hit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. For the woman who has circumcision. See, and that's the and see for me, this is where that is a little bit of an issue because a woman never gets to feel that when she's circumcised. Yes. That's you what, lose that's the whole that of it. is to lose that ability. They take that away from you, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, it's not fair. Obviously, I understand for cultural reasons, it's a practice that does happen. But to me, it's like it's like neutering a dog. You're taking away what makes them a woman. When you cut that off, you've taken away everything that will make her feel pleasure. Yeah, that's right. Right? So this is why, again, these are the type of things as black women we have to talk, regardless if you squirt it or not. It's nice to know, and it must, I'm hoping after this, you'll be able to learn who you are as a woman, learn what makes you happy, so that when you're with a man, it's not about him. Because a lot of women, we leave unsatisfied from sex. Because yeah. a man, and unhappy and yes, because a man will bust a nut and then that's it. We're like, yeah. now what? Yeah, yeah, now what is right? So my question to you would be, because she's never used a toy before, mm -hmm. have you ever pleasured yourself before? Because she can't go no. from. I've never masturbated. She's no never masturbated, not. right? That's so for her, no need for a toy. Yeah. Where's the big? Your mind, the your big mind is not. Dead. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have to take it there's levels to this shit okay you got to take our time and get there Sorry. so would you ever <laughs> would you ever consider masturbation even within a marriage let's just say you're in a marriage so it's not fornication anymore you're actually within a relationship with a man would you consider doing it then would you maybe take it up then Girl. Every time I touch myself, it's when I take a bath. And then that, no. So, like, in your mind, what is the problem with it? Like, what is it's what's sin. wrong? Okay. So, for so you. why? You like, your own body? It's a sin? That way, in a sexual manner. Yeah. But what about men? Like, do you, I guess, are you saying it's, it's the, you feel the same way about masturbation for both genders? Both okay. Feelings. Oh, wow, girl. Yeah. I hear you, though, and I can understand and respect, but it must be tough. Because I'm sorry, <laughs> I respect you, but. But when you don't know what you're missing, it's like you're not missing. You're not missing right. anything, yeah, and I you, get that. Yes, Absolutely. Like, well, why do I need it? Okay, well you know what? Today, how about you just take in the lesson? You can take in the lesson, sure, and then of course that. you'll you know, be versed yes. in something. And I say like kudos to you for coming to this episode, yeah. and even like being staying in your values and saying no, like. It might not be for me, but I, I'm still open to hear. And sure. I think that yeah. that's great. We learn every you know day, what? Right? Yeah. She's the kind of women that when they don't do it at all, it's a no-no. And then they try it for the first time. They no longer need <laughs> a man. They just have all these posts. I'm working on getting her there. Because that's the only yes. way they can squirt. So, yeah. So, it's our mission. I really it's want you to squirt, now. though. I really rebirth. want you. She's going to be rebirthed. And you know what? Listen, listen, though. Even if you don't use the sex toys, we can talk about a, w a way where at least you can learn your body mm -hmm. and know that when you are in a relationship with a man, even if you don't use the toys, you're still able to achieve that orgasm. Because, girl, it's important. Let's be real. So why did you start? What made you start? What did you That's what I was How did you stumble let's, on yeah, the let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's find flip out. Flip the table. <laughs> okay, so... For, age. Okay, so <laughs> twelve. Interestingly enough, interestingly enough, no, I I mentioned that um to you guys. I used to work at a strip club. I was a bartender there, and uh, while I, I was you there, were the shut up. I was not no damn stripper. <laughs> you know, no damn stripper. I was a bartender, so let me make sure I'm clear about okay. that. But while I was there, I would have um a lot of male, a lot of gentlemen would come in and they'd sit down and we would talk. And I had never at that point, I had never used. A sex toy. Really? Yes. And this is like 21, 22 years old. Okay. So I was right where you were. I was like, I've never I'm like sex toy. What are you talking about? And he gave me this big, it was called a dolphin. And he gave it to me as a gift. And I remember the a first dolphin? time. Yes. Yeah, so it had, um, it was a big blue penis mm -hmm. and it had a, a head on it that looked like a dolphin. Okay. okay. So I was looked at it so confused and it had these beads inside and I was like, what is this? So he's like, this is my gift to you. This is a really odd gift. Take it home mm -hmm. and tell me what you think about it. So I'm like, I don't know what the heck to do. So I, you know, watch a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, stop this. <laughs> stop this. Right? So I watch a video and I was like, oh, okay. And I'm telling you, from there I was sold. And it's when I finally did learn how to take control of my sexuality. Right. So you used it. I used it. She and used it and she loved it. I loved it. It was the best thing. <laughs> 
ever. It wasn't the first time I squared it, though. But it was an introduction into learning who I was as a woman, which was very important. Learning the fact that, you know what? I'm stimulated by someone touching me like this. So right? are you addicted to them now? Um, you know what? I, I <laughs> are. They think that this is a man. They no longer need their boyfriend. No, right? and no. And I guess that's true because like, it's Mm-mm. kind of, you know, you have to make sure you have that balance too, right? Balance. Exactly. You have yeah, to have balance. Question, I know because they've talked though. Sorry. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> um, addicted? No. But is it a turn to? Yes. I will go to it. There was times where I wasn't having sex with anybody. It was for a moment of just for me. I wanted to take care of me. I didn't want to have any men in my life. So during that time, I masturbated. It was the safest option for me. I didn't want to just be out here having sex with randoms. Yeah. So instead of just yeah. having sex with randoms, I had sex with myself. Perfect. Yeah. And it was safe. It allowed me to clear my space, clear my energy, and again, to continue to learn more about me. So when I did get into a relationship again, I knew more of what I wanted from that man. And I could teach him how to please me. Yeah. Did you bring the dolphin in with you and him? <laughs> so you know what's interesting? Um, can? You can, but some men get in their feelings. Yes. Insecure. Yes. And <laughs> yeah. So when we come back, we're actually going to dig into my little bag of treasures here and pull out some sex toys so we can actually demonstrate the use of them, especially for my girlfriend right here to my right. <laughs> See you guys soon on The Free Out. But I want you to like just kind of feel the vibration. This is something that you would use, sorry, on your clitoris. That's so a little too heavy for me. <laughs> is there different like um, speeds? No, this one doesn't have different okay. speeds, but there are some that does have yes. different speeds. I've been to the stack shop.